don't wake the neighbors. Today I'm back on the local range and I have this. This is the Benelli M4 Raven stock from ATI. Now why am I making this video? I've had this for a long, long time and they are discontinued now. And I was looking to sell it. Well, there's a gentleman that commented that he would like to purchase this stock from me. These things were like $400 when they were new. And I kind of wanted a really nice collapsible stock for the Benelli. I couldn't get a, a law enforcement one. Right now, the law enforcement one, the collapsible version, is selling for $500, and that's not shipped. So if you're not interested in this or listening to me ramble on and on about this, you might as well just go watch something else right now. So this is kind of for the gentleman that wants to purchase this. So we're going to be taking it out of the box, show you what it comes with, and maybe kind of go over a little bit of install stuff, even though I don't have my Benelli here and I'm not going to be installing it. It's very simple, very simple. All right, let's take it over to the bench so you can get a closer look. So this is what it looks like here. I kept the box, I kept all the tools, kept everything intact in case I wanted to sell it, like I do all my firearms. I have this really nice box, it's a magnetic closed box. A lot of people say a lot of bad stuff about ATI, but I guess I've never had a lot of problems with them. So here's the stock itself. I don't remember if it's six position, but you know, you got your different positions. Apparently this is a squishy, soft recoil pad. Feels good in the hand, especially if you have smaller hands. This comes off for the install portion. It's kind of left with this. What's cool is it has a cheek riser on it. This is really kind of tacky rubber. This is also pretty tacky. So there's that portion. So if you need a cheek riser, riser or you need it shorter, uh, it comes with a, the plug. Now what this plug does is that this is what holds the this tube to your original buffer tube. Uh, two Allen wrenches. These were not included with it. I put these in there for the next guy to make it a lot easier. And uh, it also requires like a T10 Torx screwdriver. I didn't have one of those either, but I got one. And if I sell it, the Torx driver is going with it. So whoever gets it doesn't have to deal with the problems of getting tools. You know, there's nothing like getting something in a box and going, yes, I'm going to install. Oh, I got to go to the hardware store. Here's the sling attachment and kind of a castle nut. Now this castle nut is actually what holds the pistol grip to your gun. Here's the only thing that is damaged. This is like the socket. I've been doing a lot of air quotes lately, you know, the socket. This is the socket. Now you can tell that there's marks on there. Now why is there marks on there? So this is what you use to install this castle nut. So it's kind of like a castle nut wrench, you know, it's a castle nut that goes in there. Here's the wrench they provide. Now when you go put that nut on there and you use this, this is aluminum. There's slop there. So trying to tighten that down, you know, it would slip on here. But that makes no, no bit of difference. You can use a crescent wrench on here, you can use whatever you want. There's still plenty of good flats here to get a good torque down on that castle nut. And I Loctite the castle nut to make sure it doesn't back off. Nothing like doing things 14 different times. So, so there's, there's wobble in there. There's that portion and there's two extra screws in there for uh, this. There's a screw in here and a screw here that you have to take off and take this off to get the tube out. Oh, this. This is really nice. 
full color instructions. I'm going to turn the camera over or around and I'll kind of show you the install instructions. On to the install instructions. So if you've never taken a pistol grip off a Benelli M4 or a stock, it's really, really easy. Yeah, pull the pin, pull your trigger group out, and then all you do is knock, knock the, the stock uh, counterclockwise. You actually, I used a rubber mallet and just hit the pistol grip, and all it does is unscrew from the back of the receiver. Really good colored instructions here. Uh, what you do for this Raven setup, once you get your stock off, is you take them two little screws out of the bottom of the stock, take that adjust adjuster out of there, you know, it adjusts, adjust the stock in and out, pull the tube out, easy peasy. Then you take the pistol grip, put your sling attachment on there, and then you slide the pistol grip over your tube, which any stand, you know, the Benelli M4 tube is the Benelli M4 tube. The tube on the Benelli is threaded back here, so that's how you keep the, the tube for the stock on. You put that castle nut, like I was saying, over your tube into the pistol grip. Use the wrench or a crescent wrench on that stupid castle nut thing and tighten that nut down. I always Loctite that nut. And then what you do is you just slide their tube over your tube like so. And then it has like a like a plug. So that comes with that plug and then you put the plug in there and then that plug and that screw screw right into the back of your factory tube. And then all you gotta do is slide the Raven stock on, put the adjuster thingy back in there, put them two screws back in, and that is it. I mean that's all there is to it. And then if you wanna, I think, adjust the tension of the slide, that's what's nice about the stock, you can adjust the tension that the stock slides along the tube, which I did. It has screws underneath, and that's the Torx 20. You can use that to adjust that. So that's all there is to it. That's why I liked about ATI is they really did a good job on their instructions. And then it shows you how to do a bunch of other crap. So if you want to tension the cheek riser, if you want to tension the stock to their buffer tube, this is all how you do it. And there's plenty of good online instructions as well. Now the only reason that this is not on my Benelli right now is because I was originally looking for the Benelli M4 three position collapsible law enforcement stock, but they weren't selling them. So I had to go with, in my opinion, the next best thing. Now as soon as they decided to start st selling the law enforcement stocks, well you know what I had to do. I had to take this off, put it back in the box, and put the correct stock on, if you will. But now they're so crazy expensive. Are you kidding me? $500 for a pistol grip and a stock for the Benelli? So I know where a lot of these people are coming from where you don't want to buy a Benelli because you buy it and then you have to buy this and then you buy that and then you buy a foregrip and the, you know all the parts for the Benelli are always $400, $500, $200 and that's without shipping. So anyway, I hope this helps the gentleman that wants to purchase this. Uh, if you want to buy it, cool. It's in good, good condition. If you don't want to buy it, it's going to go right back where it was, sitting in the corner until somebody hits me up. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.